everyone, it's your favorite crafty librarian Stephanie and I'm back today to show you how to make a flip flop wreath. Um, everything we need except for the glue gun uh, was purchased at the Dollar Tree and you can get glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. A glue gun would be perfect from like Joann's or Michael's if you don't already have one on hand. I purchased flip flops from the Dollar Tree. These are a size medium but you could even do a size small if they have any. And I purchased a bouquet of red and blue flowers. And I actually already had a wreath holder. Um, however, they do sell these at the Dollar Tree as well. And I had a pair of scissors as I just needed to cut some of the tags off. Um, but otherwise for the project, you wouldn't need them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how to make this. So your foam wreath um, also was purchased from the dollar store. This is a 10 inch foam wreath, but it technically would call for a 12 inch, but either one works. They didn't have a 12 inch and I really wanted to do this project. So I said, I will make it work. First thing you're going to do is decide how you want your flip flops to be des uh, designed on the foam wreath. So the bottom part where your end of your foot would normally be is what will attach to the foam piece here. And I'm just going to quickly lay them out to see how I would like them to look onto the foam piece here. What kind of design I'm looking for. Do I want them to match up? Do I want them to be separate? Uh, give, make sure they have like a good spacing between them. And let's see here. So it looks like actually... I have too many anchors, so I'm going to kind of play with that a little bit. Anchors around here. So that's why it's good to kind of see what you have going on before you actually go and do it. And then I can play with it a little bit more. So this is just going to take a little bit because you're going to be able to put the flowers in between them. And I think I'm happy with this look here. Okay, so I'm happy with this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my glue gun and I'm going to put a decent amount of glue on there and then place my flip-flop down. And you're gonna to wanna to hold it for a moment just to secure that flip-flop on there so it has a nice strong grip. And then from there, you can either A, put your next flip flop, or you can choose to do your flower. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to do all the flip flops first. And you may even want to, uh, just in case you get a little sloppy with this, secure something underneath the foam part so you don't get hot glue everywhere. But just, like I said, just a decent healthy amount of glue and then put that flip flop down there and hold it. And what's nice is this will hold it really well. And the flowers will actually be able to just be poked through the foam. And you can put just a little bit of glue to secure it. So you won't have to use too much glue, especially if you just have a smaller glue gun. I'm gonna move this over just a tad. All right, so this should come along. Project wouldn't take you too long. The only thing I recommend that if you're doing this and you get a little crazy with the glue is sometimes you get some strings along the end and those are actually easily taken care of. Um, you can leave that towards the end. I wouldn't worry about it in between each flip flop that you put down, um, but those can just be literally ripped right off of the wreath or flip flop itself. And you only have to hold the flip-flop down, oh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds at most. You can always go back around and make sure that each one is secured on there if it may need more glue. Some cute options too if you have a larger wreath and you have some more space for it would be to get some of the LED flower lights they had. I purchased some and thought I was going to use them for the project but ended up, because the wreath is a little bit smaller, um, not, I'm not going to use them. 
You can add as many or as little flowers as you want, but you want to make sure you cover the green foam because you wouldn't want the green foam just sitting out. Okay. All right, so last flip-flop is secured there. Put these out of the way. All right, just kind of checking to see how well they're holding and they feel pretty good. Now, one thing you could do is you can always lift this up by the green foam and see how they're holding. Some of them seem like they're on there pretty well and you can always put more glue on. And then I'm gonna go to the flowers. Now, I've seen the project where the flowers are just in between each of the flip flop and I've seen it where they've actually been on to the little toe part there. So depending on how you want that to look will depend on how you do it. So like I said, the flower can just kind of be pushed there into the foam and you kind of get a nice little indent there. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue, just about, oh, not even dime size there. And now try to shove that into the foam. Just be careful that you don't push it so hard that you push your finger somehow through that because that would be pretty hot. And I'm just going to go around. I'm going to do it every other color, but perhaps you have a favorite color. And you can see I got a little bit of string of glue there. So I want to make sure I'm going to take care of that. That I can just pull right off. Oops. Pulled the flower unfortunately with it, but that's okay because I can shove it right back in there. Now these shouldn't be too bad as far as holding them. You shouldn't need to hold them in there. They should kind of form into the foam and kind of hold themselves. So sometimes I'm already putting the hole in, kind of covering it with some glue, shoving it back down in there. Other times you can kind of actually get just get it in there by putting the glue there first. So whatever works best for you. If you forget it's not the end of the world and you put the glue there first, it will definitely still go through the foam. Sometimes I find if you shake the glue gun in the circular motion, it helps with the strings. Um, like I said, they're pretty easy to take off. So if you get some string on some of the flowers or the flip flops, um, it easily comes off. It's just more a pain in the butt that they sometimes don't want to come off your hands. Um, but otherwise it's pretty easy. So with the bouquet, um, I got about six flowers on each one. So you can see I'm going to use not even that many to go around uh, the foam part itself. I could add more if I felt like it looked bare. You could see any part of the green foam. Or like I said, some people use them on the toes of the flip-flop where it kind of goes through that part of your foot and toes. Completely up to you. You can always grab extra and go from there. I thought this would be a great project, even though Memorial Day um, has passed by the time you're watching this video. This would be cute to put up right now and could last you through 4th of July. So that's why I kind of picked some of the 4th of July looking flip flops with the stars and um, the American flag on it. But you could definitely take this all the way through August it's a very nice summer one now this could be a good time where you're just checking the strength of the flip-flops even if you just move it just a tiny bit you can tell if there is any um, movability of the flip-flop and it doesn't feel like there is you can also check it before you do the flowers if you wanted to you can let it sit for a couple minutes just make sure that everything's on there securely before you do the next part and I'm not going to do the toes um, because out of the two bouquets, I don't have enough flowers to do all of them. But since I do have a few, I definitely could add them into the part here and make it look a little bit fuller. 
um, or you could just decide that you're not going to use any of them. So at this point, I'm not going to use any of them because I like it to look a little bit more even. And this would be how you would complete your wreath. So if you're happy with how this looks as a completed wreath, perfect. Go ahead and use your wreath hanger. If not, you could definitely add flip flops even in between the flowers that you have here beneath it. So those are some options. Otherwise, put your wreath holder in there and you're set to go. I hope you enjoyed this craft today. If you have any questions or you have anything you'd like to add, I'd be happy to see your designs and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day.